Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the persistent volume in Tails. So, what the persistent volume is, is it, it allows you to save your files. So if you, let's say you have a text document with your passwords on it, you don't want to lose that. So, you'll need the persistent volume so that you can save it. So, this is how to set the persistent volume. You're going to go to Applications. You're going to go to System Tools. Configure Persistent Volume. You're going to wait for the window to open. Here you go. You're going to select a passphrase. We'll say... A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, tab, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Alright, then you're going to click create, and you're going to get this message. So, what you need to do is you need to wait for it to create the persistent volume, and then it'll give you a prompt to select exactly what you want the persistent volume to save. But right now it's gotta create it which can take a little while so I'll be back when it's done alright so that's done and you will be greeted with this window so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select everything you wanna save I'm gonna tell it to save everything except well yeah I'll tell it to save the email yeah so I'm not gonna keep this by the way I'm gonna delete the persistent volume in a minute so I'm just going to say save all the stuff, everything. Click save. There you go. And now we restart Tails. So you're going to go to the power symbol, top right corner, reboot. You're going to get your usual screen. It's going to shut off. And then it'll come back on. And you'll need to run from the USB again. So I'll be back when I've got it back online. Alright, so we're back, and this should be the screen you see. It says, Welcome to Tells. Use persistence you can set, if you will or not. Passphrase. There you go. No one can, in, can get into your files unless they have the passphrase, which is ABC123. You can set read only, meaning they can't modify anything. More options, no. Log in. And that's all there is to it. After that, your files will be saved. So now that I showed you how to set your persistent volume, I'm going to show you how to delete it. Go here and delete, because I'm not going to be using it. Alright, so you'll get a window that will pop up here in a second. Mm, okay, so. There you go. You gotta restart it. But you restart it, you click delete, it'll give you a window. You get the idea.